I'm gonna go rest at an inn, see if I can save. Okay, here's the inn. Okay. And then... This is the church, I believe. Why do I have to return to Airdria to... What? Why do I have to return to Airdria? To save? That's just annoying. Alright, well since I'm out here, I think the only quest I had in the real world was to go to Heliodor Castle and find that book. Can you think- I can't think of any other quests that I had to do outside of the books. Nope, no 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 no. Victory will be ours! Miscellaneous. Quest catalog. Ah, oh, there's so many. <laughs> I swear. Alright, we're looking for a book. Where are we gonna find this book, I wonder? Well, time to start checking bookshelves. What up, dude? Such a shame. It's not that book, apparently. You're not a bookshelf. I don't know why I'm checking you. No bookshelves. Bookshelves. A bookshelf. King Carnelian behind the throne. Apparently that's not the book we're looking for. Airdrian Geographic? Probably not. Okay, so that's all of the books that are here. Maybe we'd have better luck checking, like... Whose room is this? Is this Jade's room? No, this is the King's Bedchamber. And there's the King's secret passage down to the kitchen. Wide open, very secretive. A massive, boring book here entitled Proceedings of the 36th Annual Conference on Heliodorian Development. Something about cake. What well, luck, a recipe book. But I already know everything inside of it. Okay, is this just gonna lead down to the kitchen? Yes, it is. Said all that, one of the maids must have been keeping a cat. Shouldn't be here with all the grub, but it don't look like it's in a hurry to go nowhere. Meow. Cats. I love my cat. Cats are cute. Alright, uh, I guess we'll check the room across, and then maybe I'll go check Jasper and Hendrix's rooms. Queen's bed chamber. Old time worn diary covered in child's drawings. Okay, guess it's not there. Let's go check out, like, Hendrick and Jasper's rooms, because they're more likely to have books on chivalry, particularly Hendrick's. But here's Jasper's room here. Three books. 
You Dristrania, Dristrania, I already got that. National Treasures, the Shield of Heliodor. It's a recipe book. Alright, where is Hendrick's room? I'm guessing this is Hendrick's room down here. Yep, alright. Dresden's armor. Well, that's annoying. So we're still looking for this book then. I have my doubts I'm gonna find it in the kitchen. I guess we're gonna go upstairs and see if we can find it. Maybe we can ask the king if he has any... Ah, the shine on the plate there made me made me think I saw like a sparkly just like in like Resident Evil. was a child. Slight, fragile, but no longer. She is a woman now, and I saw none of it. But you did, Luminary, and I'm sure you played your part in her growth. For that, I am grateful. Hope you'll, you will continue to fight together to protect our world. Yeah, okay, I'll fight together if you can give me a book on chivalry. Because I know the Sultan has some stuff on chivalry. Puerto Valor is also not a bad place to look for chivalry, like... That would be the first place I'd look for just the word chivalry. The only problem is that they said to look in a castle. It specifically said castle. And I'm like, okay. Puerto Valor isn't a castle. But there aren't any other books here. Alright, we're going to check Puerto Valor. This is where chivalry is the most prevalent. It's here. So I would hope and think that this is where I'm trying to go to. But like, once again, this is not a castle. Can't open that. Can't open that. I can open this. Okay, here's the diary. The chivalric ideal. Is that not it? What? That sounds like exactly the kind of book I'm looking for. Find a place that sets a lot of store by chivalry and knightly know-how. Yeah, I'm I'm in it. What? Okay, well there are no more books in Don Rodrigo's villa. I've I've checked all the books in the villa.
I read it and they said Galopolis. Which, I thought about Galopolis. I just didn't want to sit here wasting my time checking more and more places. When it comes to chivalry and the knightly no ordeal, Galopolis was not the first place that came to mind. First was Heliodor because of Hendrik. Second was Puerto Valor because of... Yeah, that's ominous. Puerto Valor because of Don Rodrigo. Third was Galopolis because I remember those knights on the right side here training. But I didn't really think that this was going to be the place to find the book I'm looking for. But sure, why not? Book. This is not what I where I'm looking. Prince Ferris's progress. Is this it? To be a king. Okay. Well, we got what we were looking for. And see, all I wanted to do was save my game, and then this is the the distraction they put me through. I don't know where Master Felix is. Hopefully we'll find him in a future book. Let's go to Quester's Rest since I've already got the item for it. Who are you? I'm very underwhelmed, I must admit. I heard this place had won an innie, so I was looking forward to enjoying some truly top-hole hospitality, but the innkeeper has a face like a wet weekend. I wonder what the matter with Erin is. She hasn't been her usual sunny self. Ah, there you are, hun. Did you find that book on how to be a king? Yes. Great, you got it. To be a king? Yep, that sounds like the one, all right. Now to have Erin take a good look. Patty hands Aaron the book, and she begins leafing through the pages. A true king should never lose sight of who they really are no matter what happens. A true king takes responsibility for the well-being of his people. He must never forget what he owes to others. If a king loses his pride, his subjects will suffer, and a king who makes his subjects suffer is unworthy of his honored role. Hmm, I see. So when a king loses his pride, it makes life hard for his subjects. Yes, I can see that. It's just like when an innkeeper loses their pride, their guests suffer for it. Which means I must have been making my guests suffer terribly with all my moping. What kind of innkeeper am I? I almost lost sight of the only thing that matters, my customers. Ugh, that book worked like a charm. Aaron's got her old spark back. Everything's gonna be okay, okay and we owe it all to you. Here's a little something by way of thanks. Putting the smile back on someone's face might not seem like the greatest thing you've ever achieved, but trust me, Aaron's smile is really something special. It makes everyone happy. Take it from me, when Aaron was down in the dumps, so has everybody else. It knocked the wind out of all our sails. But now she's got her mojo back, and we can all breathe a sigh of relief. You're the best, thanks. Nice. Now you've helped Aaron get her old spark back, I know everything's going to be alright. Putting the smile back on someone's face might not seem like the greatest thing you've ever achieved, but trust me, Aaron's smile is really something special. It makes everyone happy. Take it from me, when Aaron was down in the dumps, so was everybody else. It knocked the wind out of all our sails. Now she's got her mojo back. Okay. Lost sight of what was most important, my guests. If I'm not smiling, neither are they. We'll go to our awards and accolades if you forget something as simple as that. But I won't forget again. I'm going to keep smiling, take pride in my work, and make every single customer who walks through the door feel special. So happy to have my have the old Aaron back, and we owe it all to you. It was all very strange, though. What can have happened to make her suddenly lose confidence like that? I suspect some dastardly plot, but who could be behind it? 
Wonder what the matter with the innkeeper was. Well, whatever it was, she's over it now. She went from looking like a wet weekend to a ray of sunshine, just like that. Okay, but I thought there were... I think I remember being told that there were costumes I could buy here. Maybe somebody I'll save later will be able to... sell the costumes. I don't know. Alright, well that's it for that book, I guess. Oh, I know, we gotta go to the observatory. Did you know that the great big tree at the center of the observatory is called Yggdrasil? And the people going about the place with great big wings are called Celestrians. Their job is to collect something called benevolence from goomans like you and offer it up to the tree. Fascinating. Statues. Curious. Most curious. How could a fig just vanish like that? This is most vexing. Oh, forgive my surprise. We do not see many mortals here. And mortals should not see us at all. We Celestrians are invisible to humankind. Is this a dream? No matter. It is what it is. What business do you have here, child of man? Ask Akila. Yeah! Hmm, you wish to aid me in my plight. Ha, you mock me, of course. Nevertheless, I suppose I have nothing to lose in telling you. I have managed to misplace one of the sacred golden fruits known as figs. Upon focusing my mind on its whereabouts, these mysterious words came to me. Ruby Path of Doom. A paltry clue, I am more than aware, but if you truly wish to aid me, perhaps you might investigate its meaning and seek out the fruit. I will reward you generously, of course. I have to go back to the Ruby Path of Doom. Fantastic. Go figure. <laughs> Figs are extraordinary fruit indeed. They possess the power to make the dreams of any who eat them come true. Should one fall into the wrong hands, there could be truly terrible consequences. I do not know if you are aware, but a fearsome dragon is rumored to have appeared in a certain cave down on the surface. And at just the same time that Aquila lost his precious fig. Coincidence? I somehow doubt it. Okay, well, back to the Ruby Path of Doom we go. Whoop. Can I go up now? Ugh, I have to, like, explore the whole area again, don't I? Because I have no idea, they could have... I'm gonna guess that there's just, like, another staircase somewhere or something. At the very least, the holy protection is available. This would be much more miserable without it. The question is, where would there be a dragon? Okay, well this was a very large dead end when I came here before, so maybe there's something in here now? No. tedious but I'm glad but it's preferable to having to fight enemies but still it is annoying and also I wish it lasted a little bit longer <laughs> please Oh hey, a dragon! 
Ah, you do not stand a chance. I have partaken of the sacred fruit and possess power beyond my wildest dreams. All will be destroyed, starting with you! The Doomsday Dragon. Sure. Let's divide. Blind Man's Biff and have a ball. Well, I was all prepared for a tough fight. <laughs> Grr. I, I can feel it, feel it draining from me, my precious power. The fearsome dragon turns into a tiny slime. Um, I know this is a bit of a sticky situation, but I'm not a bad slime, really. It's not Uzi being a slime, you know. No one's frightened of us. All I wanted was to be a terrifying dragon and make people quiver like jellies. Was that too much to ask? It's been my dream since I was just a speck of goo. I wanted to be huge and have big flappy wings and scales and a horn and three tails and... Em. Then I found that fig and I wanted to make my dreams come true, so I gobbled it up in no slime flat and... Well, then this happened. I... I don't oozily act like this, honestly. I'll never goo it again, I promise. Please believe me. Here, I don't even want it anymore. I got the fig. Alright, let's cast Evac so we don't have to run through it all again. To the observatory! I sense a great power. You have found it, have you not? The fig? Yep. This is it. Thank you, friend. I never thought I would see the day when a mortal came to my aid, but I am truly grateful. Please do me the honor of accepting this token of my gratitude. Is that so? The fig fell from the observatory to the ground below, only to be discovered by a slime with dreams of being a dragon. Dear me. This is precisely why we keep such a careful watch over the sacred fruits, to prevent them from falling into the wrong hands. I still do not understand how it happened. I was holding it, then it was gone in the blink of an eye. How could I have prevented that? I sensed that an evil power was behind this, a power far surpassing my own meager abilities. I urge you to take care on your travels. There are dark forces abroad. The Go Figure. What a great quest name. Okay. So we are done with this one. I think this statue should be done now then. Because I finished all three of the quests that were here. We're still looking for Master Felix to finish the right statue. I'm guessing Master Felix will give me access to the third location in there. So let's see what we got here. There's only two here. Room of Revival and Tentin. 